Yes, fucking hello, it's Chopper here. Welcome back to part five of my travel ban travel guide, uh, where I explain all the countries you can't go to on holiday at the moment and why that's not a bad thing. Now, I asked you what country you wanted me to do, and there was a metric fuck ton of people asking for the United States. Freedom, bitches! That's right, the good old US of A. Uh, a country where you used to be able to own people, but now suddenly wearing a mask is having your freedom taken away. Uh, the greatest thing about America is its freedom. And by freedom, I mean having three jobs and still being poor, not being able to afford hospital, or being in jail for having cannabis in states where cannabis is now legal. Yes, if starving to death at work, uh, dying of a treatable illness, or being fuck-bucked in prison and stabbed with a sharpened toothbrush for smoking a joint is your definition of freedom, then the USA is a place for you. After running late to two world wars, America has pretty much caused every major war since. Uh, from fucking with Korea and then fighting a war in Korea, to fucking with Vietnam and fighting a war in Vietnam, to fucking with Afghanistan and Iraq and fighting a war in Afghanistan and Iraq. Like my friend Macca when he gets drunk, America is quite proud when it actually cleans up its own shit. Uh, but I am glad when America goes to war because it usually means they're going to make a fucking sweet war movie about it. All the great war movies America make make America seem like they're good at war, but really they're just good at movies. The great thing about holidaying in America is tipping the staff. Everywhere you go, some grinning fucktard is holding out their hand like a sad dog waiting for a treat. That's because people in America don't get paid. Instead, they work for tips. It's America's way of saying, you fucking pay the waitress. And if you don't pay the waitress uh, because she forgot to smile or something, uh, then she gets to be homeless. Enjoy your cardboard box, Susie. That's for having an off day and a resting bitch face. America's approach to food is to drown it in fucking cheese. Americans put cheese in fucking everything. Cheesy doodles, cheesy puffs, cheese in a can, liquid nacho cheese, cheese pizza, cheesy fries, cheeseburger, cheesecake, Philly cheesesteak, cheese stuffed jalapenos, cheese suppository, intravenous cheese, fucking put it in my veins, fucking stick it up my bum, cheese, cheese, fucking cheese. No wonder Americans are always ready for photographs. Every fucking second word is cheese. Now, drinks in America are fucking massive. You can use the largest size soft drink cup at the cinema to fucking smuggle a baby into a movie. Uh, just fucking pop a couple of eye holes in the front and a fucking straw in it so it can breathe and the little bastard doesn't even need to get out. Huh? Americans, overall, are fucking uh, very friendly people. But travellers may find that they talk loudly, can't say aluminium, uh, and they put the month before the day when they write the date. American people are quite confident. A sober American is like an Australian who's had fucking six beers, or a New Zealander after 12 beers and heaps of cocaine. And if an American has beer and cocaine, you get Charlie Sheen. Uh, if you're on holiday in the US, or which you aren't, uh, you could start with a fucking trip to New York. Uh, you can go and see where 9-11 happened. Now, some of you may never have heard of 9-11, because they don't talk about it much. But basically, in 2001, on the 9th of November, a group of people from the Middle East strongly suggested that New York should have an airport in the middle of the city, and tried to land two planes there. Uh, it didn't end very well, uh, they ended up fucking hitting two buildings. Anyway, Americans have stayed pretty quiet about it since. Then there's Florida, uh, which is basically the US version of Queensland. Fucking nice beaches, theme parks, and people who only wear shirts and shoes when they go to court. Uh, you can also get attacked by alligators, which are like crocodiles that have acquired a taste for golfers. America also has some of the most incredible national parks in the world, but fuck that, let's just get mounted in Las Vegas. If your idea of a holiday is being trapped in a chlamydia-ridden casino for days at a time, then go straight to Vegas. Uh, Vegas loves fucking putting lights in fountains, Almost like the whole city is so tired of partying, it wants to take a bath with a plugged-in toaster. Uh, then there's also the Grand Canyon, a giant caesarean scar that stretches across three states. I'm sure for a long haul, it's very nice. There's Los Angeles, uh, where all the rich celebrities hang out. From psychotic elves like Ellen DeGeneres and Tom Cruise, to undercover space aliens like Johnny Depp and Kanye West. Hollywood is full of duplicitous fuckwits who have made a fortune from pretending not to be awful humans. Uh, just in case you forgot where you're having a fucking shitty time, uh, there's a huge sign that says HOLLYWOOD! The only thing good that ever happened in LA is when John McClane killed a group of terrorists in Nakatomi Plaza and then his wife punched a journalist. You can always not go to Washington DC, where you can not see the White House because Donald Trump has built a wall around it. And this wall isn't because he's afraid of Mexicans, it's because he's afraid of Americans. 
Now, a lot of people are critical of Trump, and they should be. He's like a little tandoori budgie that loves mirrors and saying his own name. He's a fucking 74-year-old with the maturity and intelligence of a 12-year-old. He forms sentences like he's lying his way out of a Year 7 school presentation, or like he's trying to convince you that he hasn't just been concussed. His hair looks like it was a wish that was granted by a hungover genie, and he stands with his butt out like he's expecting someone to put an envelope in it. But let's not forget that Hillary Clinton was a bloodless day-walking vampire and Biden is a doddering sex pest. Anyone can be present in America uh, as long as you are super fucking rich and you can smile while you're telling a lie. That's right, America, the greatest democracy in the world, where most people don't vote or can't vote and only the college vote counts and where a presidential election is like watching two gold-filled turds slide down a wall to see who hits the floor first. A complicated and contradictory place. The USA's main hobbies are race riots, pretending to care about school shootings, and dying on video. They also love Christianity and making pornography. Even though you can't go to America right now, you can just fucking stay at home. Fucking turn on the TV and cover everything in cheese. Travel ban accepted. Fucking bang! Alright, uh, that's the video for this week. Uh, if you liked it, fucking, you know, share it around. Uh, fucking like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you didn't like it, feel free to not fucking comment. Uh, like that guy the other day who had a big fucking cry because his mum's name's Karen. Fuck off, you whinging soft cock. Uh, anyway, Father's Day's coming up. Uh, if you can't think of something to get Dad, uh, go to fucking Cameo uh, and I'll fucking record him a bloody uh, custom message. Uh, you know. Uh, I'll, fucking, I'll say all the things that you can't say. Uh, anyway, I'll fucking catch you again soon. Uh, have a fucking good one. Yeah.